This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi. My guest is Leroy Brown, and Leroy is here to talk about his photography exhibition at the Senior Center in McMinnville. So yeah. welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I'm really glad. I'm really excited to hear you're doing a showing. That's wonderful news. Well, Tori did it, and mm -hmm. then he told me that it was a good venue because they, there's so much traffic and people come yeah. in. So I thought, I've been in Renee's gallery. I had the gallery for a while. I've been in. Newburgh and numerous places, and you know they have like the Art and Wine Walk in Newburgh, which mm -hmm. is one night. So they have a lot of people come out for the one night, and then everything goes back to being normal in Newburgh, and you don't have high volume of people coming out. So I've often wondered why why isn't anybody buying anything? But it, it turns out it's like that for practically everybody. People just don't go out and buy stuff like that on those Art and Wine Walks. Mm -hmm. They're so, out to drink. Yeah, okay, basically. Good time. So I asked, um, I talked to Diane Lane over at the senior center, and mm -hmm. I took the iPad in, and I showed her the pictures of McMinnville and Yamhill County from the air, because planes don't typically fly over this area, because we're not in the flight path for Portland unless mm -hmm. something goes awry and they have to use a different runway. So people who live here probably have never seen their own hometown from the air. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went up with um, Tim Gale. He has the, the balloon checkmate. And I also found out, because I asked his wife, I said, well, I want to go up during the balloon rally. I said, how much do you charge? And she said, it's really poor etiquette for somebody to charge at a balloon rally unless you actually sponsor it. So you can go up for free. And nice. I was supposed to go up Saturday and Sunday, but Sunday was overcast and, and messy. And uh, Sherry asked me if this other woman and her daughter could go up. And I'm like, sure. And they've called me two or three times since then. Mm -hmm. uh, once a couple of weeks ago, and I was up in... Portland with Stevie because she does the Jackson Hewitt thing and they had like this test that she had to go over there and take and of course she had to go over there and take and that left me all day long just to go out and shoot. Mm, nice. Yeah. Okay. It was a nice day. You know, we don't get those very often in, you know, the winter months. Absolutely. So I spent the entire day in Oregon City and I got a lot of good stuff. But um, this new program that I'm working with, I shot six gigabytes of pictures and I got six pictures out of it. So it's a lot of work. It's a whole day's worth of work. Mm -hmm. And you only get I only get a few items out of it. So. Okay. So the show that you're doing at the Senior Center then, you said are primarily images from when you were actually up in the hot air balloon. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And you brought some to show today? No, I brought this other stuff. You brought some <laughs> other stuff. Okay. Well, that's good because that way people can go to the Senior they Center. They go to the Senior Center and see and that. And see your images. Do you want to, should we just go ahead yeah, and yeah. have them start rolling some of your images? Yep. Okay, you can talk that's, about it. That's your barn. Yeah. Out on Cooney Road. Well, that's beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I, I bought the program. I had the program and I just never used it. I just really never used it. I'd mm -hmm. even taken the tutorial and then I decided that I might as well go ahead and and do it because everybody else is doing it. So basically what you do is you take a, a photograph and turn it into something so that it almost looks like In a painting. In my case, you, the way it works is I have to take nine consecutive pictures. Okay. So they have to be on a tripod and each picture that gets snapped, and my camera is easy because it, it has the functions where I can actually set it up and tell it what exposure value I want and how many shots I want it to take. Okay. And then I just go and blast through it and I'm done. Nice. And then I go sit in front of the computer and I try to compile them and get something that looks like okay. thick that I actually want because you never know what you're going to get when you're doing this because you've got all these different images that are at different exposure values and when you combine them into one they can come out looking like that or it can come out looking worse. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, okay so that's what it's about. Okay. That's uh, McMinimins. I couldn't believe it. Stevie and I were downtown in McMinimins doing photography one day and there was like nobody on the streets. Isn't that amazing? Once in a while it happens like that. Yeah. Because that's what other people ask me. Where are all the people? I said, I don't know. Yeah. So we shot McMinimins, and then that's Mount Hood, which that's what I shot in 2011. That's when I nice. first got the program and had it as a trial version mm -hmm. and hadn't gotten the license, so it wasn't a legitimate program for me to use. And I don't know where the halo comes from, but it's That's two really pictures. interesting, yeah. yeah. That's know, from up on top of Bull Mountain. Oh, okay. That's Oregon City. That's from the day I shot the entire day. That's really a beautiful picture. Yeah, they come out real nice. I was, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised. I was resistant mm -hmm. to doing it because it's me. It's like uh, sort of like Photoshop, and I don't do Photoshop. I have my Nikon NX2 program, which is as powerful as Photoshop, but I do very little editing with it because I just figured if I didn't shoot it right the first time, then I don't get the chance to use the computer to fix it. I live with it. Yeah, that's okay. So you're kind of a purist. That's, oh, that's really nice. 
that's Newport. We spent Thanksgiving in Newport. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. And that, the water is beautiful. And Stevie's, she's got a good eye because she's always seeing something. He'll go, come here, come here, come here. And I'll go over and just point something out. I don't know if you ever saw the picture of the, the pelicans that were flying in the V formation over the... I don't know uh, if I've seen uh, that da, 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 da. Cape Fowlweather. Oh, okay. But um, she saw that. I was changing the lens on the camera because I wanted to shoot a, a sailing ship that was way out in the ocean. I wanted to get a good picture of it. So I put a powerful lens on, and then I came in there was these flight of pelicans that are just cruising down the coast. Wow. That's, that's McMinnville. But I don't know how to tell you where it is, because it's a road when you're on 99 coming into McMinnville from Lafayette, mm -hmm. and it goes back into the farms that are back in there. Mm -hmm. They actually get into is McMinnville. Is it Hong Pro Creek Road? It could be. Okay. I love the sky. And that's from Thanksgiving also. That's Yakina Bay Bridge. Yeah. <coughs> it's beautiful. Yakina Bay Bridge. I'm going to start experimenting with this a little bit more, because my camera can do all kinds of things. I can shoot in different colors. I can shoot in black and white. I can shoot in sepia. Well, if your camera's like my camera or my phone, it's way ahead of you because mine are way ahead of me. Huh. I was actually, I was sitting there playing with my camera one night and all of a sudden it was communicating with my television set and the images <laughs> from my camera were popping up on the TV screen and my grandson said, what happened to my, my show? I said, I don't know. Something's <laughs> weird here. They're taking over. So I turned the camera off real quick and it went away, but yeah. So... Uh, that's Newport again. That's um, I like that. Where Noah Newport is. Newport is very picturesque. Yeah, it is. Because of the bay. It was you know? where I had intentions of retiring. Oh, really? That doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, ah, well. <laughs> I can still wish for it. Yeah. That's San Juan Batista in California. Mm -hmm. That's the mission. We shot this over Christmas. I shot so much stuff over Christmas, and I was with the grandkids, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time in front of the computer compiling pictures. So I just kept them in my pocket and then I brought them home. I downloaded them and mm -hmm. then I started working on them. Have you ever gone to that festival that they do there in the summertime? It's like over the 4th of July. San Juan Batista? Mm -hmm. No, I've always wanted to go there for the winter solstice oh. because of the way the church is situated. Mm -hmm. The sunlight comes through one of the windows and lands on the altar, but only once, one time a year. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, I like that. I like that mission, that church. That is on the California coast. That's where the Rocky Creek Bridge is. But this way, I'm looking north, and the bridge is actually behind me because that was one of the things we went down there to do was to take some pictures of the bridges because we both have this thing for bridges and lighthouses. So one of the days we were down there for five days. One of the days she and I just took off, and we went down to Monterey and we shot all these different bridges. And oh, how fun! We did the coast. That's great. Yeah. It's a fun program. Mm -hmm. That's Mission San Juan Batista too. That's looking across from the mission. It's that the Plaza Hotel. This is one that I did in Sherwood because a couple of years ago I was on the cover of their magazine. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And Nancy asked me what I had. And I said, I haven't shot too much in Sherwood, but I'll send you this link. And you can go on my website and you can look at the ones you'll know. That you know which ones are going to be Sherwood. And if you decide you want one, then I'll email you a copy of that one. And I haven't mm -hmm. heard from her. But that's something that's going to happen next year when they put their publication out. It comes out like in April. Yeah, or you know, Sherwood is one of those places that's pretty interesting because I think most people think of Sherwood as driving through. Yeah. You know, and they don't realize that there's a whole other aspect yeah. to it. Get you off know, the beaten path. Kind of like that little old, the older... That's, yeah, Old Town Sherwood. Old town, town, yeah. That's, it's kind of fun that they've got the little antique stores back in there. Yeah. And, yeah. So, uh, like I said, I don't know what she's going to do because... Now, that's the Bixby Bridge, which I have shot a, a bazillion times, but I've never done it and seen it like this because the last time I did it, it was in the springtime. Is that for my, on my birthday? <laughs> and it came out, and it was just really a big green rolling hill. Where we did this at uh, Christmas. That's a, and this is as far as we went. That's just amazing. I mean, when you see what the what your program can do and how it really, you know, brings out what the clouds are doing, and mm -hmm. it's an incredible program. That it's the only one that's a standalone. All the rest of them, you have to have Lightroom or Photoshop or something. Like mm -hmm. this is a standalone because I didn't want to have to deal with Photoshop in order to make it work. Mm -hmm. So I really did. like that a lot. And that's the museum, and it gives you some amazing depth of field. Absolutely. 
because that's 747. Mm -hmm. That always seems to amaze people when they come around that little curve and it's like, how'd they get that plane up there? <laughs> <laughs> Very carefully, that's the answer, right? It was, took them all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was there most of it. And there we are, there's a, oh, wow, there we are. Okay. That, that was, I guess that was all of them. Yeah, I guess that was. That's all for now. Was that 14 pictures? I don't know. That's a teaser. <laughs> if people want to see more, they've got to go see the show. Yeah, and I'm going to have the iPad with me there for the reception. Well, let's talk about just... the reception. Okay. It's going to be between some 6 and 8 on Thursday, day okay. after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And me and Steve will be there. And I think some people from work are coming. There's a couple of people that live in McMinnville that are anxious to see it. And then there's Tori and Scott and everybody else that I go shooting with. Not as often as I would like to, but they'll well, probably be there too. Let's talk about how long will the show be up? Till the end of February. Oh, the end of February. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Which means I'm going to be rotating stuff in and out. Okay. So it's not going to always be the same images in there. I'll just go in there and give Diane a bunch more and say, you can take down this many and put these guys up. And the Senior Center, if I'm not mistaken, is open seven days a week? No. It's no. It's open Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Just and Thursday night it's open late. Okay, so if people want to go there, then... It's Monday through Friday. Okay. Wow. As far as I know. Well, let's, let's do a little backstory for people that may not have seen one of the earlier shows. How'd you get into photography? Oh, I've been doing that for years, even when I was a kid. And then I was in the military, and I did public affairs and stuff like that, and they gave me a camera, and then when I got out, they took it back. It was, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they send you down into the foxholes? No, it was did? public affairs. So oh. there was, you know, outreach to the community so the people could see what the servicemen were doing. So we had a, we did one on a tank range where they were, you know, firing tanks, but it was night fire. So it was pretty spectacular. And the families came out and they were sitting up in bleachers with big earmuffs on. <laughs> tank ranges are loud. And you were taking pictures. I was taking pictures. But when I got discharged in 1990, I had had enough. I had done it for 13 years. And I was just tired of it, and I didn't want to keep traveling. If I was going to travel, I didn't want to travel for the military. So I got up, and they took this camera back, and I decided that I wanted to keep doing it, so I went out and bought myself another Nikon, but it wasn't as good as the one that they took back. And then in, like, I don't know, 2000, 2001, I decided to get real serious about it. And then when I moved to California, I had all kinds of opportunities and places to go. So 2004 to 2008, I had one camera. In 2007, I bought the one I'm currently using, the D300. And it's, it's got a lot more capabilities than I, I'm, you know, I had talked to a friend of mine to find out that it will shoot all the brackets for me that I don't have to keep incrementally adjusting oh, it for nice. every shot. It'll, okay. do, it'll do it in a split second because it'll shoot nine shots in a row. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. And then if I want to change what the exposure value is, I can go back and add to the menus and I can change all that. So that's, that's where I am these days. And it's, what do you have coming up? I mean, what do you want to do this year in particular? Sell more pictures. Mm -hmm. But is there a particular area you, know, that you want to work, work on or work toward going? I want to start back doing photography for sports car racing. Oh, well, there you go. Because, but I don't have the luxury of travel. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Like when we lived in California, I mean, in 2008, we went to 11 races, including the Indy 500, and we went to the Reno Air Races, and we went to Alaska, and we went to a race in Canada where Dave Moss walked up to Stevie Nine and he says, you guys are a little far from home, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> So if I could get back to doing that. Well, I wish you a lot of luck, and I really want to thank you so much for being here today. It's Thanks. been wonderful to catch up with you and, and see what you're doing these yeah. days. Thank you. All right.